Undertaker. Let me take you for a spin. My name's Grant, I'm from County Funerals, and each week we post videos about the funeral service industry and funeral related products. This week we're finishing up a question and answer that we started last week. We had so many questions we couldn't answer them all in one video. This week, our first question comes from a lad called Joe, and he wants to know what happens to implants placed in the body during cremation? Well, depends on the implants. So you have a couple of common implants. You have a pacemaker, uh, breast implants, or hip, knee joints, and like replacement joints, basically. So we'll start off with pacemakers. They need to be removed. So your funeral director or your doctors will remove the pacemaker. When that gets taken away, it can be recycled. There's a company in the UK called Pace UK that recycle pacemakers. Generally, it costs about £4,000 for a pacemaker on the NHS. And when they get recycled, they can have them for about £2,000. So you can have them sold off privately or they can go to third world countries and they can get used in, in, in racehorses. So there's lots of benefits to recycling pacemakers. And what happens is Pace UK will either collect pacemakers via post from the funeral directors or they have little boxes at crematorium for funeral directors to put them in or indeed at hospital mortuaries. The second type are breast implants. Well, breast implants, depending on what type of implants they have, um, can go through the cremator. The, the silicon-based and the water-based ones will burn up quite nice. Some of the older ones generally turn into like a goo or a gunk and they lie at the bottom of the cremator and they get scraped away and thrown away. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there is no one recycling breast implants and I've never ever been asked to take out a set of breast implants before a cremation. Now, joint implants, like the metal pins and stuff, they look like this. This is a hip joint, goes like that, and they would have had a socket here on the leg, just like that. And you can see how it's all blackened after the cremation. So these go through the cremator, and they come out the other side. This is a uh, socket. So that would have been on the top of a bone. That moves, so you can see there. So that's how they come out. So these get taken out of the ashes after a cremation. That's why they're all blackened. They get put into a recycling bin at the crematorium. So we have a local crematorium here. They have one cremation machine. And each year they generate two wheelie bins full of metal waste. So stuff like this, the hip I showed you earlier, metal pins. And they get sent off to a company for recycling. Obviously these aren't sort of just steel. These are high grade alloys and metals and all sorts of things depending on the implant. And they're worth a lot of money. So then two wheelie bins full of metal get taken away and they get recycled and they get money for that. Last year, the crematorium down by us raised £9,000 due to its uh, metal that's been recycled. And that was given to a charity to help children deal with bereavement. So each year, the crematorium staff all get asked which charity they'd like to support and the money gets put straight to the charity. This is very common. So most crematoriums will recycle their metals and give the money away to charity. And if you want to, you can pop into your local crematorium. You could nominate a charity that you'd like to be supported. Alternatively, if you want your metal back, so you can, you can fill out on your forms, on your application for cremation, that you would like all the metals back, and the crematorium will clean the metals up and give you them back with the ashes, and then you are fit to do with them as you please. Question number two. Someone coming into the shop to ask me this question, which is great. If you ever pass in your fancy cup of tea, pop in. We're always happy. Um, the question was, do you drain all the blood from the deceased before cremation? No. Uh, us, and I don't know any other funeral director in the land or in any other country that drain everyone of blood before they cremate them. I've never even heard this myth, but hey, someone's got it in the head, so that's good enough for us. However, if you choose to have your loved one embalmed, this does include draining the blood. So you would have the blood replaced by the embalming solution, which is formaldehyde and, and other stuff. So they would make a small incision. Uh, they would pump the formaldehyde around the body, which would then pump the blood out, and the blood gets washed down the drain. Don't shoot the messenger. So that's it. We do not drain our bodies from blood before cremation. Question number three. Do you throw away the larger bits of bones that you can't fit in the urn? No, we do not. What happens is when a body is cremated, the ashes don't come out like you'd expect to see ashes. They come out as bone fragments with all the metal still in them, and they're collected um, one at a time, I must add. You never cremate more than one person. Never, never, never create more than one person. So all the ashes are collected and put into a cooling tray. 
They're taken from the cooling tray to a workstation in the crematorium where a crematorium attendant will remove all the metal, so all the implants we talked about earlier, plus any the pins or the screws from the coffins, they will get all taken out with a magnet. Then the bone shards will get put into a machine called a cremulator, which breaks up the bone shards and turns them into um, the ashes that we used to see. There's two or three different types of cremulator machine out there. One uses sort of chains to break it up and it sort of wishes it around almost like a big blender, but chunkier. And one uses ball bearings, so it would go around, so it's almost like grinding the bones and it bakes them into that powdery ashes that you, you see before you. So um, that's it. We do not throw away random pieces of bones that don't fit in urns. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope you found them informative. If you do, chuck us a like and a subscribe. It really helps us know we're doing a good job. You can share it around as well. And um, we'll see you all again next week. Don't forget, if you've got any more questions, send them in to us. We are happy to ask uh, any questions you like. Um, thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe. If you ain't got much money, let me give you a helping hand.